Hi guys, welcome to Chakravarti Science Academy. Just a minute series where every minute counts in unlocking the secrets to master your board examination. Today we will talk about a very very important topic that is aniline. Curious case of aniline. Why I have said curious case? Because aniline has a lot of exceptional cases where what we expect we don't get as a result. So all these cases is going to save you a lot of marks in the board examination as well as the entrance examination, whether it is medical entrance exam or the engineering entrance exam. So let's see one by one all the cases. So first case is we are trying to do nitration of aniline. As we know, aniline has a very good conjugation, pi sigma lone pair, where we expect the lone pair will come inside the ring and the plus M effect will come up. So it means it's a ring activating group and uh, it will be showing the products at ortho and para position when we do the electrophilic substitution. So we know in nitration, we use a combination of concentrated HNO3 and H2SO4, which gives us uh, electrophile NO2 plus. And we know NO2 plus will go at ortho and para. And it goes, what we expect, it happens, okay? But if you look at here, the ortho isomer is just 2%. Para is 51. It will be the major as expected. It will form in more amount. But ortho is just 2%. Why it is so? Let's understand. First of all, see, because of this amino group, and there is an NO2 group, okay, it is, there is a lot of steric hindrance. And because of that, ortho isomer is not formed as we expected. Okay, so we expected if para is for 51%, ortho might be 49. But let me tell you, the case is we get meta product as 47%. Now, how meta come into the plan? Because we just learned because of the plus M effect, aniline group is ortho and para directly but how come meta came up and why ortho is so less ortho is so less because of steric hindrance because of the amine group and group, they are very very close so there will be a lot of steric hindrance now so that is why ortho is less now question arises why meta how come meta came up here so let me tell you another story so what is happening from this acid h plus will be there this h plus will be taken up by this uh, you know this lone pair will take up the h plus it will donate the electron and due to this you will get NH3 plus, which is anilinium ion. So you will get anilinium ion. Now, this due to the nitrogen has a plus charge, it will be a minus M. It will show minus M effect. Minus M means there it will work as a ring deactivator. Ring deactivator. So due to the ring deactivation, it will form meta substituent and that is why electrophile is at meta position and it forms in a quite significant amount that is 47 percent so take a note of this now one question comes in our mind and that is how can we protect the you know amino group how can we not allow the formation of meta substituent how can we only get ortho and para what we expected so for that we need to learn how do we protect the ring okay how do we protect the amino group so let's see next so in order to do the protection of the amino group okay in order to form only the ortho and para isomer first we need to understand in case we want to obtain only ortho and para substituent we need to do the protection of the amino group now the question is how do we do the protection so understand you have to add either the acid halide or the acetic anhydride group but remember when you are adding the acetic anhydride okay you need to use along with that pyridine a base as we know acetic acid will be formed in the byproduct so when you are using acetic anhydride don't forget to use pyridine as well in case of acid halide you can directly add it so what is going to happen now understand when we add acid halide so what will happen the lone pair of the aniline will come to you know carbonyl carbon and then what will happen we will get something like this see first of all chlorine being more electronegative it will take up the sigma electron then plus charge will be on the carbon this lone pair will come here and then you will get something called as acetinalide. Okay, you can see that. Now, if you see, there is a very good resonance here. Okay, there is a pi sigma lone pair. So, this lone pair gets busy here. We keep this lone pair busy. And due to this, what happens when lone pair is busy, your amino group is protected. So, now it will, there will be not a minus m group there will be no minus m group it will only form ortho and para so after you have done the protection by adding either the you know acid and acetic anhydride or acid halide so then we will go with nitration which is the same reagent concentrated hno3 and h2so4 which will generate electrophile no2 for us once the no2 is formed it will attack at ortho and para as expected because the lone pair is now busy so amino group is protected now the ring activation is increased 
and after that but finally ultimately we need the aniline so how do we get that so add the acid hydrolysis h plus h2o or h3o plus and this will give us the aniline so our two products are ready which is para nitro aniline and ortho nitro aniline so keep that in mind in this cases you need to protect the amino group and to do the protection you can add acetic anhydride or acid halide we have taken the example of acid halide you can try this with acetic anhydride which is this so ch3 co group so you know what will happen there will be a cleavage here and this results in the electrophile formation this will take up the h plus and that is why i told you we need pyridine because acetic acid will be the byproduct now this group again will be you know keeping the lone pair busy because this plus will be taken up by the lone pair and then it will keep this lone pair busy with here pi sigma conjugation okay like here and then you can further add the nitration now let's see the third case what's going to happen when we do the sulfonation so in the sulfonation reaction next what we we know the reagent what we use is concentrated h2so4 now in concentrated h2so4 h2so4 what will happen the acid will release the h plus and hso4 minus lone pair will take up this h plus and as a result it forms a anilinium hydrogen sulfate and after the anilinium hydrogen sulfate we will heat it at 473 kelvin or you can say 200 degrees celsius a rearrangement will happen and when the rearrangement will happen understand you will remove the h2o now the question arises because of the heating now how h2o is removed understand one hydrogen you will remove from here one oxygen you will remove from here and because so3 group is coming here so3 h sulfonic acid group so one hydrogen will be removed from here so h2o will be removed once you remove the h2o you will have an h2 now and this will become hso3 and this is sulfalenic acid sulfalenic acid but remember this lone pair takes up this H plus. So due to this NH3 plus comes here and SO3 minus. So due to the presence of dipolar ion, okay, we call it as Zwitter ion. Please do remember this forms a Zwitter ion because there is two charges positive as well as negative. So all of you have got it how it came up. The lone pair took up this H plus and due to this NH3 plus came up and SO3 minus. Now, so we will see the next case after the sulfonation and that is friedel craft reaction we know friedel craft alkylation and acylation are the two things of electrophilic substitution which we carry out in the presence of lewis acid such as alcl3 so when we add the alkyl halide group or the acid halide group in the presence of lewis acid understand the aniline is a very highly basic aniline is a highly basic structure we can say it is a lewis base so it will have more tendency to react with the Lewis acid. Okay. So rather than a electrophile will attack here. Okay. What will happen? The Lewis base and Lewis acid will react and it forms an adduct. So it means what, how the re uh, relation will go? Understand. First of all, this lone pair will go to AlCl3 because we know Lewis acids are electron deficient. Okay. So it will result in uh, the formation of NH2 plus charge will come on the nitrogen and aluminium will have a negative charge and AlCl3. The electron will go to the Lewis acid. Now it forms a positive negative and a duct of, you know, Lewis acid and Lewis base reaction. We can say it is formed a, a duct salt. So there will be no friedel craft alkylation or acylation. It means the conclusion is aniline does not give friedel craft reaction. These questions are very much prominent in the board exam. So I'm leaving you with one question. As a homework, you all can try. And that is, you have to try adding the bromine, okay, electrophilic substitution reaction in aqueous Br2, okay. Important thing is, the question is asking, you have to write the steps to prepare only ortho and para, bromo and lean only. So make sure that you get only ortho and para substituent. So don't forget to write the steps in the comment box below and uh, keep sharing and uh, keep following Secretary Science Academy for such videos. Bye-bye for now.